to. And I loved that opportunity when someone would do that for me. Stay overnight or a weekend and allow the caregiver a real break to wind down. Get a massage or stay in a motel alone where she can sleep as late as she needs to next morning. Now, that's, that, to me, would be just the best gift of all. <laughs> when you're doing something for years and years and years and you have the opportunity to get a weekend off and wake up at the time you want, uh, that, that's a real gift. Um, I encourage families to plan together. Make a casserole dish to help your loved mother or father so that they don't have to cook two or three times a week. Invite your loved one and their caregiver to your home for lunch or supper for as long as they're able to visit. Also, there is a ton of paperwork that goes along with this. State, local, federal, depending on where you are financially. Uh, help the caregiver sort through the quagmire of forms they have to deal with. And assist them in looking for long-term care. Go with them to different places so they don't have to take the whole burden on alone. And sometimes it's only what one daughter or son that's helping out. Just remember that they need a break, too. Extended family, be aware and help out where you can. So those are my suggestions to help families with with I think those patients. are all I think those are all excellent suggestions. And I'm sure yeah. that our listeners are wondering where they can find the book. So let's tell them. It's available on Amazon and let me give you the specific title and let me tell you how to find it. All you have to do is go to Amazon dot com and right there on the front page is that there's a big rectangular search box if you've never been to Amazon. Here's the, let me give you the title of the book and let me spell some things for you. The title of the book, I don't see how you could possibly forget this, is Spaghetti, S-P-A-G-H-E-T-T-I, just in case you're struggling with that word, Spaghetti with Raisins. Guiding Your Loved One with Dementia Toward the Safety of Long-Term Care by Anne A-N-N-E, capital R, period, Curran, C-U-R-R-A-N. I suspect if you just put Spaghetti with Raisins by Ann Curran and clicked on it, that it would come right up. Now, what you'll see when you click on the search feature and it brings up the book, you'll see the cover of the book, and in the upper right-hand corner, there are always two words. It says, look here. And you, all you have to do is click on those two words, and the book will open electronically. And there's a really, really nice excerpt. You can also see the title of all of the different chapters. The table of contents is also in this excerpt, this example from the book. You can also buy the book right there on that page. Now, and I know that the book is available in some other places. If our listeners don't want to go to Amazon to purchase the book, where else could they find it? Uh, yes, it's also available at Barnes & Noble and Goodreads. Excellent. Now, we're running out of time, and I always like to let an author have the last word about their book. This book is such an, an it's an interesting story because we follow your story, but it's also a book that no one would just read through once. This is a book that you would keep as a reference and a referral guide. So if our listeners become readers and they do pick up a copy of the book and they read through it, the first time, just to get a feel for the whole book. They close that back cover for the last time. What message do you really want that reader to take away from Spaghetti with Raisins? Um, I really want them to know the journey they're going on, that it's no walk in the park, 
that they're going to need help, and if they're being offered help, to surely take it and to even do it in an organized manner if you can. Because the longer the situation goes on, the more you're going to need the, the help. And it also to be very careful when you're looking for, for nursing homes. Um, look for cleanliness first and make sure that the staff knows exactly what the problems are with your loved one and that they pay attention to those signs. You know, it also strikes me that if you have extended family, giving that extended family, those extended family members, copies of your book, Spaghetti with Raisins, would be a valuable thing to do so that they would have an insider look at what the caregiver is really going through. Because, you know, people from the outside cannot possibly understand the emotional toll that this takes on the person who is the caregiver. And even when you have put your loved one in some sort of a facility, there's still there's still guilt, there's still worry, there's still they call you, you have to do certain things. And I think that your book would be good for extended family members to have just because it's this, it's a story and you also have tips. I think those tips on the back of the book are so valuable because extended family may never think to do those kinds of things unless someone points them out. And you did that so well in your book. Thank you so well, so much for being my guest today on Books on Air. Well, thank you so much, Suzanne. Now, remember, you can find the book Spaghetti with Raisins by Anne R. Curran, C-U-R-R-A-N, on Amazon. You've been listening to the Books on Air podcast brought to you on webtalkradio.net. You can also hear this podcast on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Stitcher, and Apple Podcasts. I'm Suzanne Harris, and I hope you'll join me for the next Books on Air podcast, because remember, you never know who's going to be here, and you never know what we're going to talk about. Thank you so much for listening.